Hey y'all, it's Mary, and this is Mary Catherine Loves Cats. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do this mask and um, talk with you a little bit. Welcome to Mask Monday. Today is Mask Monday and a lot of channels mask, and we hope that you are able to join us, um, even if you don't have a channel, if you have time at home to mask, whether this is in the morning or um, you are, uh, you know, off, this is in the evening after work or something. If you want to take a little time, sometime this week, even if it's Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day, do a mask while you watch um, some of some of uh, our videos, and um, you know, take a little time to take care of yourself. So this mask is green. I will um, tell you more about the mask when I get it on. It always takes a few moments to get it going. I do have some eye masks on. I'll tell you about these also. Um, I need eye masks for sure. Always need some deep puffing going on. So the, this is the Honey Jarrett mask and it's very relaxing. It fits well. It's a great mask. Um, I got this from, um, I, I think I got it from Ipsy, Boxy Term. Ipsy Sales. Um, you know, the, uh, the drop shops. Oh, it's so cold. Um, my weather here has been cold and warm and cold and warm. <laughs> I think a lot of people have that way. I have, my daffodils are blooming and some flowering trees are blooming. I have a Japanese maple that's about ready to bloom. It gets these beautiful pink flowers. They call it a tulip tree down here in the south. Uh, let me get one of my rollers. Okay. So y'all, I'm not gonna, um, all right, let me tell you about the mask first and then I'll, then I'll go on to what I wanna talk about today. Um, on my eyes, I have the Beauty Bio. I'm almost positive these came from FabFitFun. These are, um, you know, they show you can put it under your eyes, you can put it around your lips, you know, eye masks you can put on your forehead, you can put them anywhere. 10 minutes for the eye masks. It's bright eyes, depuffing, and brightening eye gels with, with restorative collodial silver. So that is the eye mask. And then the uh, face mask is the Super Beauty mask by Honey Jarrett. And these come in different flavors, if you will. They don't have a scent. Um, but this one is the green apple. I can't smell any green apple. They have it in rose. They have it in a honey, honey lemon maybe that's yellow. I think it's those three, those three. And I have used all of them and they're very nice. They just, they're nice and thin. They fit well. And they're just, uh, they're nice and moisturizing and this is to leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. So y'all, um, one of our ladies from the community has passed away. I know a lot of you all know by now. I found out on Thursday, I believe it was Thursday. And um, this is uh, Nancy Rounds and um, her channel is Nancy Rounds, and she is just a lovely, lovely person. If you did not know her, I will have her in the comments below. You are welcome to, I mean, in the description below. Go check her out, y'all, because she just was beautiful, kind, joked about herself all the time. She had a great sense of humor. She had a great lust for life. She loved life. She worked very, very hard, and she loved life. And she um, lived on the West Coast, and her daughters live on the East Coast. And she's from the East Coast, but somewhere along the line, her and her husband moved to the West Coast for a job. Well, to Minnesota, not really the West Coast, but the West side of the country. And um, they liked it there and stayed. And she has a beautiful home that she would show us many, many times she would decorate the house with beautiful, um, beautiful. She just always had things decorated. She decorated herself all the time. She loved to dress up. She would dress up, dress up in costumes. She would wear a wig. She would um, 
just wear wonderful, uh, um, what are the uh, necklaces, Swarovski crystals. She loves wine and has loved wine a long time. But recently in the last couple of years, she taught herself a lot about wine and she told us a lot about it. She learned so much about wine. The last video she has up, she's talking about the wine that she's drinking and she is able to describe that wine like an expert because she taught herself. That's how she was. If she wanted to know something, she went out and found out about it. And um, she was just so always kind, always kind um, to everybody. I, I never heard her say a crossword. If she had a struggle or trouble with something or someone, she would make a big joke out of it. Um, and she just didn't put up some videos. A few days went by, no videos. And some um, other people, some people that are friends with her on Facebook saw that her daughter posted that she had passed away. And based on the um, posts on Facebook, I think it's possible she passed away February 13, February 12 or February 13. One daughter posts on the 13th and the other daughter posts on the 14th uh, Valentine's Day. And in Nancy's last video, she's talking about getting her video out for Valentine's Day. So it was a very sudden situation. That's all we really know. If you have any more information, please let me know. Um, I've had people ask me how to contact the family, um, to send cards, um, to send their condolences. And all I know right now is to just send to Nancy's address and it will get to the daughters. You know, they'll have to do what they have to do with the house and what have you. Um, but it's just, it's so sad. Um, uh, Nancy was really bad sick. About, I want to say it was a little over a year ago. It was um, January-ish time. Maybe even Christmas time, she got COVID. And it just hit her hard. Some people, some people, they're a couple days later, they're just fine with COVID. But Nancy, it hit her really, really hard. And I believe she was in the hospital um, and she had trouble breathing. And even when she came back, if you look at her videos from last year around this time, she would have, she had trouble speaking. She had trouble breathing. She had a lot of lung issues because of the um, after effects of COVID. And um, I, do, I just, it makes me wonder if that had something to do. I'm not trying to start any rumors, so do not quote me. I'm just telling you what I know. What I know is that she was fabulous. She was beautiful and she did not know it and did not think so. Um, she did a uh, clothing hauls and she just is so stylish and beautiful and, um, she, a really smart lady. So, but she just, she was self -depre deprecating. She would just make jokes about herself and, um, she just loved everybody. She loved all of y'all. Um, she really did. And just super kind. And I've known her since before I started my channel, I've known Nancy and, um, she's just was an A plus person and we really lost a good one with her. So um, please keep her family in your prayers. And like I said, I'll, if you don't know her and you wanna go uh, see some of her videos, I'll put her, her um, channel below, you can go check her out. Um, so uh, just, you know, y'all, it's been, it's been hard since I found out. I know it's been, there's many of us, we've been talking be, about it behind the scenes. Everybody's very, very sad. And I'll tell you something. Not one person has said an unkind word. Not one person. She brought out the best in everybody. So um, if her daughters ever see this, I want them to know that we just loved her here on YouTube. This community adored her and cared very much for her. And I know that she's with her beloved husband, Rick, in heaven now. She um, never stopped talking about him and would never forget him. She loved him so much. And he died young, um, you know, a few years back. So in his early 60s, mid, mid to early 60s, I think. So that was very hard on her. But anyway, I'm, I'm going on too long about it. I would just want y'all to um, keep her family in your prayers, y'all. And y'all count your blessings. And I'm going to have a couple of pictures here um, if you'd like to stay and, and see that. Um, y'all count your blessings. It's very important. Tell your people you love them. Y'all take care. Love you.
I will 